Hi, I'm Sarah Raisin, the designer of Quilt-A-Card Handcrafted Card Kits. In this video, I'll be showing you several ways to make beautiful handcrafted cards, perfect for sending to somebody special. The kits come with die-cut cards, matching envelopes, stencils if needed for the design, and complete instructions and suggestions. Today, I'll be making an apple card and a heart card. To make the heart card, you'll take the card from the kit and pop out the die cut. Once you have your die cut removed from the card, you're ready to choose your fabric. This is a great way to use up fabric scraps that you have around the house, or if you've made a fabric gift for somebody, you can make a card that coordinates with the gift. You choose a piece of low loft batting and a piece of scrap paper and layer that behind your fabric. The paper will act as a stabilizer when you stitch. Now you layer your card on top of your fabric sandwich and you're ready to go to the sewing machine. You want to begin stitching at one of the points of the heart. I'll be using a medium zigzag stitch and I've got just a standard needle and thread in the machine. I'm following the outline of the card with the left part of the stitch going into the fabric and the right part of the stitch into the paper. I'm holding the fabric flat with my left hand so that it doesn't puff up too much. When I get to the point of the heart, I leave my needle down in the paper and that allows me to lift and pivot and then continue stitching. This card could also be stitched by hand using embroidery floss and a decorative stitch. Continue stitching until you get back to your starting point. Once you've finished stitching, you'll want to pull your threads to the back. So flip your card over and pull on the bobbin threads and grab the little loops that the threads make. Pull them through to the back and then tie off. You could also tape it off. That's fast and easy. Then you need to trim away all this extra paper and fabric and batting. Trim near your stitching. Once you've finished trimming away all the extra fabric, now you're ready to seal the card closed. You want to be sure that you're sealing the card on the flap that does not have printing, so turn your card over and be sure that you're sealing it on the right flap. Today I'll be using a two-sided tape. You could also use a glue stick or a roll-on adhesive. Put your tape near the outside edges of the flap. And then fold on the scored line and seal your card closed. There's a spot on the back for you to autograph your work. And there's your finished heart card. Here are some other heart cards. With this one, I stamped some hearts onto the paper before I stitched the fabric to the card. And with this card, I stitched three pieces of fabric together using a decorative stitch and then stitched it into the card. Then I added some ribbons and trim. And here's another great idea. Scan a photo and print it on paper-backed fabric and then stitch it into your quilt card The apple card is made basically the same as the heart card, but first we need to add the stem and the leaf. The kits come with the stencil and it's cut the same size as the center panel of the card, so you place it on the middle of the card. Then load up your brush with some paint and dab off the extra. Then stencil on the card. Now I'll do the green leaf and dab off the extra paint and then tap your brush on the card and paint the leaf. Now I'm ready to pop out the die cut and layer with the fabric and begin stitching, just as we did with the heart card. There are many ways to embellish the cards. Here's the basket card, and you can see with this one I stamped some leaves on first and then just glued on some floral buttons. And here's a strawberry basket where I did the same thing but used strawberry buttons. With this card, I glued on some ribbon roses and ribbons and with this card, 
I wove the paper first and then glued that into the opening. Up here I stamped on some flowers. I hope the ideas in this video will inspire you to create beautiful one-of-a-kind cards for your friends and family using Quilt-A-Card handcrafted card kits.